Hey guys, Anfinim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video, and this is Hunt for the Golden Apple, episode 13. Now, uh, you guys are probably wondering where I've been. Um, well, I've been pretty busy, and I'm sorry that I haven't released an episode in quite a long time, but as you can tell, I'm back at the old house, and the reason why I, or one of the reasons why I haven't made an episode in quite a long time is because I found out that making a new house in a, lo an, in a new location is very boring, and it's just, that area was a dud for cave systems. I tried to record this episode at, l at the very least three times. And it's just, it was literally just a ground search for a cave system. And so that area was a complete dud. I know there are still cave systems within this area that I haven't searched there for. There are potential dungeons that I haven't searched for. Therefore, there are potential golden apples that I haven't found yet. But... Uh, there is a development in this series that I want to talk to talk to you guys about. As you can see, I'm wielding a golden pickaxe. Now, you might be wondering why I'm wasting my gold when there are potential apples out there. Well, I checked on the Minecraft wiki page, and I actually found out that it is 100% impossible unless you, uh, unless you have mods or something like that to actually get a golden apple in single player. It is 100% impossible. So, I just wanted to let you guys know of that. And, uh, yeah. So, without any further ado... Ooh, and creepy music. Yeah, so I am going to get going here. Um, my plan is for the day, I have everything all packed up. I don't have any pants on, um, so that's a good thing. And yeah, I got I got all my tools ready. I'm going to use a golden pickaxe to actually show you guys how fast it is on cobblestone and stuff like that. Uh, wooden planks, a bunch of food, armor, you know, the, the works. I don't think I need this fishing rod, though. I, I don't expect to be catching any fish underwater. Though that w Actually, that might be a good idea. Maybe that maybe that's like a stroke of genius that I just I just totally thought of. Like I can make I can make a uh, a furnace down there, but that's the one thing you can't get down there is food. But if I happen to find a little underground pond down there, just might be worth it. Hmm. So I'm gonna go down with my fishing rod. Yeah, that that seems genius to me. All right, I'm not gonna go up that way. The direction I'm probably gonna end up going in is uh, somewhere over here. It's near where I uh, entered with that little golden block. Uh, yeah. So yeah, sorry I've taken such a long break from this, but if you check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash antvenom, you can see that I've been doing quite a bit over there. So if you guys are feeling like you're missing out on me, you know, you're not getting enough of your ant venom. Where, where is this? It's over here. If you feel like you're not getting enough ant venom, then uh, you can definitely check out my channel over there. And I post content... Uh, I've been posting content every day for the past, uh, for, well, actually, this video is going to be going up long after I'm recording it. So, as of, uh, May 6th, I've been recording, uh, I've been making videos constantly for, like, the past, who knows how long. So, I'm going to try and light up cave systems as much as I can. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to lead to anything, but we might as well look, right? We'll never know. So, I'm not going to be mining up gold nearly as much as I have been, just because I can't find a regular apple in, in uh, in the, uh, what do you call it, in single player. So it looks like this leads to a dead end. So I think, I, I'm not sure if I want to take this down. Nah, let's just go to a reliable cave system because I know there's a ton around here. Uh, yeah. So I'm sure you guys can understand why I wouldn't want to dig up golden, uh, gold, gold anymore. Just for that reason. Alrighty then. Alright, so let's get going here. Oh, uh, which area should I enter down? Looks like night spawning too, so it looks like there's probably going to be a bunch of creepy crawlers coming out during the night. I still have yet to find a wolf in this world either. I'm just going to go down the reliable route. I know that this is a reliable route, and that I can most definitely get down this way. So, yeah. So I'm glad to be back. Are you guys happy that I'm back? Because uh, I'm going to be going on an absolute... Ma oh, this isn't the reliable route. I just went down the same path that I went down before. That... Wow. Wow. That, I bet you guys are screaming like, Ant, why are you going down the same path? Why are you fail? Why, why are you jelly? Uh, I'm not jelly. You jelly? You mad, bro? You sad, bro? It's like... A, these are like steps. Literally like grand steps made out of grass that lead into this cave system. Cave system. And there's a zombie over there. Alrighty then. Sweet deal. Okay, so let's head down into the depths of the earth. Yeah, see, look, there's water over here. I wonder if I could fish this area up. Let's try it. Let's try it. I doubt I can, but... Oh, uh... I think I can probably only fish up in the... Yeah, in the actual water source blocks. There's only one block there, but let's see if I can actually fish right here. I won't try for too, too long, but I still want to try. 
Come on. I know you want to give me fish. I know you want. I know you love me. I know you want to give me fish. No, you don't. I think if it like attaches itself to the ground, then it's no good. Yeah, see, like there we go. That didn't attach itself to the ground. Like the hook didn't hit the ground. I think if the hook was like stuck in the ground, then a fish wouldn't be able to bite at it. Anyways, I have no idea how fishing, how uh, fishing is actually coded in Minecraft. How much space you need, or anything like that. But all right, I'm gonna get going here, and yeah, just to show you how fast this uh, this uh, golden pick mines up stuff, I'll show you the stone pick here, and then here's the golden pick. It's faster than diamond, but you can see how fast it's degrading. So yeah, I'm only just using it just for kind of like aesthetic purposes, uh, not making any real use out of it. So yeah, let's let's head down here. I'm thinking I might want to make some like actual steps here. Uh, I got 10 cobblestone. So let's make some, like, actual steps here or something. Just to, at least to this point right here. Alright. Alrighty then, so, some official steps. So I can get down into the ca down into this cave system uh, properly. Right. Right on, bro. Looks like I, I never dug this out either. This is something that I would do so I can actually, I don't know, escape in case anything was coming after me. Man, I'm just, I'm way behind on my game lately. Uh, which way do I go? I'll go that way, but I see, I see iron over here. And I, okay, so I, I can't go after this. So this ha basically has the, uh, I don't know how you say, the, the mining ability of a wooden pickaxe. And I did bring some some steel pickaxes with me, but I'm gonna try and wither away my uh, my stone ones first, and try and get not and try and not get hurt as much as possible. Uh, the amount of, the amount of uh, animals, uh, the amount of uh, what do you call it, baddies I'm gonna be finding is gonna be a little bit dimmer in this episode just because I have a lot of things lit up. But that's what I'm gonna be trying to do is I'm gonna be trying to find the dark areas, and uh, you know. We're on search for dungeons, and obviously, I'm pretty sure that areas that I've already found, I would, I shouldn't be searching for dungeons in those areas. I should be searching for them in areas that I have not yet explored. Uh, just broke the golden rule. I should never dig below me, but you know what? Forget it. Forget it. Got it. Can only live once, right? Alrighty then. Jeez, there's so much iron here. I'm not sure. I don't think I'm gonna be going after all of it. I think I need to make a rule as to when I need to actually stop. Alright. It's just been a while since I've done this. It's been at least a month since I've act. Oh, not a month, like three weeks since I've actually uh, went after and done this. This whole golden apple search hunt thing. Yeah, see, like, look, boom, already down here. There's like already an area that I can uh, that I can go after. I think I'm gonna destroy this block right here. Now, now we play the listening game. Oh, well, maybe not this time because there's a. There's a wall there. I wonder how many, like, hidden caves there are in the system, too. Like, in my single-player map that I have, uh, that I play, and I play it quite often on my uh, my main channel, is that, uh, is that there, like, there is the primary cave system when I first found it, like, you know, like you're seeing now. With, ooh. Like there, like there are now, like this, but then there is a lot of, like, hidden caves. Is there, are those zombies that I'm hearing, like, multiple amounts, copious multiple amounts? Let's listen. I don't know if they're above me. I need to get, like, a, a truly surround headset or something. Yeah, like, you can see how fast this diamond pick is being torn, torn apart. I refuse to dig, uh, below, uh, above me. As you guys have very well known from my previous episodes, I am so prone to death it's stupid when doing that. I'm just not sure where they are. Let's turn up the sounds in Minecraft just for this right now. Where are you guys at? I don't know. See, this is where I feel like I should be using the F3 option because I have hearing impairment. Like, seriously. I think if I just hit F3 just to find out where they were, it wouldn't be the worst. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Alright, so as far as them dropping on me, I'll do it, but I'm never going to actually stand directly above where I'm digging. Yeah, see, like, there we go. I already broke in somewhere. Where is it at? 
Sounds like it's still above or below me, which is a completely redundant statement. Of course, they're going to be either above or below me. I just need to know, you know. There's only two of them. I would suspect three of them by now. Maybe there are three of them. I don't know. Where was that? All right. Where are you guys? Oh, there's an area above there. That's where I'm guessing they're probably hiding. Let's get some stair sets made here. And I'll try and light things up as best as I can, but once again, guys, there's no promises. Oh, they're not up here, so they must be below me in this case. I'm kind of hoping they're below me because it becomes a lot easier to actually... To actually uh, get down on them. Sounds like they're coming in from this way. Where's... Sounds are off from this way. Oh, well, this is convenient. Oh, they're definitely, uh... I'm pretty sure they're definitely above me. I'm gonna dig below me and see if this... Oh, crap. Wow. Wow. <laughs> see, guys? Golden rule. Never dig straight below you. You see what happens? You see what happens? Do you see what happened? You see that? See that BS? Dug right below me and boom. I fell. I fell. Like a dummy. Like a big fat idiot. And you are a big fat idiot today. Well, you know what, guys? I know I'm a big fat idiot. You know why? Because I am a big fat idiot. I see a water stream here. Water streams that I'm climbing up scare me. I'm sure you guys can probably wonder why. What if a creeper was like, "Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rain on your parade"? You know? You know? You know me? You know me? All right. Like, I'm just scared of there being stuff around me. I need to collect more of this lapis lazuli, too. Uh, I think doing that with a torch. And I just mined up dirt with a with a, a pickaxe. I mined up dirt. I, mean, I dug up dirt with a pickaxe. Let's get as much of this as we can. I hear skeletons. It's awesome. This is more like a dungeon search now, guys. Because if I haven't told you guys, and I don't, I don't believe I have yet in uh, these videos, is that I actually already found a golden apple. I found one, but I didn't find it on this map. And uh, where, where is he at? I think he's down there. Where are you at, buddy? Diamond. Cool. That's like the most unexcited reaction I've ever had to finding diamond. I'm just like, diamond! Ooh, two diamond! Ooh! Ooh! But there's still skeletons in the area. And there's a hole right there for him to just pounce on me from. Come on, jump! Jump! Alright, whatever. Let's not do that right now. There's multiple amounts of skeletons. Is there any diamond in the corner veins here? Because it's always important to check the corner veins. Because they can occur, like, at corners and stuff. There are all kinds of skeletons above me. I need to, like, lure them in somehow. Without falling into lava that's below me. And I actually did bring a bucket of water. To, uh... Yeah, to do that. I'm not... I'm... Gonna try and avoid doing it with all this lava. But with most of it. Ah, crap. Okay, so there's still there's still some going on there. Alright, uh, although I think I might probably gonna have to do this one too. So now it's dark! Alright. So I should be safe to mine up this diamond now. I think I was safe beforehand, but... More diamond, more diamond. So I am going to make a diamond pickaxe here pretty soon, because uh, I want to be able to mine up this obsidian. Uh, just as a surprise to you guys, I want to be able to mine up obsidian and... Uh, I want to be able to go into the nether. Just a, it's a it's a big thing that I've been wanting to do. I want to go into the nether, uh, do a little bit of exploring there, 
and possibly find a new area that way so I can get really far away from here. Because for those of you that don't know... Oh, uh, there we go. Hang on one second, guys. I gotta deal with, uh... I gotta deal with Mr. Bones here. You like my ninja skills there, guys? How it dodged every hit there just perfectly. I'm missing so much coal. But what was I saying? I wanted to go into the. I want to be able to go into the Nether here pretty soon uh, to find a new area because uh, in the beta 1.4 update, the spawning pattern for dungeons changed, and I actually believe golden apples became a little more common. Uh, if I check the Minecraft wiki, it's like a now like a one in 127 chance of any given item in a chest being a golden apple, whereas before 1.4, it was a 1 in 1,000 chance. So, a 1 in 127 chance is definitely something that's a little more manageable. I don't know if Notch did that for me, or if Jeb did that for me. But, uh, yeah. There's more up here. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Okay, it's through the wall. Alright, I'm good. Uh, 4. Torch. There we go. Number two. Whoa, zombie fell. I don't want to fall down there either. There's stuff all around me, so like I think so. Yeah, definite spawning of uh, baddies around me. Oh, oh wow! That creeper doesn't even know I'm there. Like he's just like, duh, uh. Oh, and the creepers fell. The creepers fell. Don't kill me. I'm not actually scared or anything like that. So there, there's an old dungeon over there.